I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me about Jorvik. Hytham says there are three more targets there. If that is true, you are in luck. Our old friends Jor and Ljuvina have made their homes in Jorvik. Both had status and influence in Norway, so they may have valuable insights into the city's politics. That would make my work easier. What say you then? I will go now. Do you know where I might find Hjor and Lufina? When entering a new city, it is best to ask around the ports. The people there know more than the average peasant. This must be Jorvik. The order of ancients lurk in its streets and alleys. My old friends Jor and Lufin I live here. Jor and Lufin are settled near this harbor. Some. Jor and Lufin are settled near this harbor. Someone should know where to find them. And what about me? What about my ways? Move along now. We were on a clean dock in Jorvik. You must be the Dark Master. What gave it away? Everyone hates you. As I just explained to your friend there, if your wares have been seized, take it up with the Council. These merchants are not my friends, but I'm looking for some. Hjor and Lufina. You know Hjor and Lufina? What business do you have with them? We know each other from Norway. It farewell to that land, but not to old friends. You may be glad to hear they fare quite well in Jorvik. It does not surprise me. They are driven, and so am I. Now I would like to see them again. In a manor surrounded by flowers. That's where Hjor and Yufina live. How about some coin for my trouble? How about I cut out your tongue? Forget I said anything. A manor? Hjorn and Lufina have done well for themselves. My friend. Here, this is their home. The place has been ransacked. And this body... It's not Hjorn or Lufina. Scattered scrolls. The thief was looking for something. There was a struggle here. Looks like it continued outside. Blood, but no body. Which way did they go? This one of the thieves. Hmm. The trail continues. Lufina! Who is that? Come closer! Now! It's. it's me, Lufina. It's Eivor. Eivor? What? Who sent you? Are you with them? Breathe, Lufina. You're rattled. You know me. I am a friend. Are you? You show up here like this. These people tried to kill me. 
I heard there was trouble in Jorvik. I have only come to help, on my honor. I am sorry, Eivor. I did not mean to doubt you. It has been a tense few weeks. Who were they? Why were they after you? They were after this. I do not know what it is, but these men were ready to kill me for it. A poor fellow soldier of Christ. You know him? I've seen a letter like this before, in London. This city is in great danger. Where's Hjor? At the Royal Hall. I will take you there. Pull up your hood. We may not be safe just yet. It's this way. They are still looking for me. Hide low. We can slip past them. I've gotten far. Look around. Hurry it along. Have you seen a Bajarmian woman? Answer well if you know what's good for you. I, I haven't seen her, I swear. Let's go. Keep an eye out. Look, over there. Is, is that her? Mine taken this week, and with no explanation. Rules are rules, but I wish they would tell us why. More of them, just there. Keep your head down. I think it is safe now. Gods, Eivor. Your arrival could not be better timed. Call it fate. I had hoped our paths would cross again, though I imagined a karma reunion. We fled one problem only to find ourselves embroiled in another. While King Richier is preoccupied with the money shortage, a group called the Red Hand has been imposing their will. The ones who attacked you? Yes and no. They are bandits, but someone is controlling them. Look no further than the names in that letter. Killing them is the reason I'm here. But they are coded. They could belong to anyone. The sludge in the streets often drips from the gutters of the halls. When in doubt, look to those in power. You mean the council? Hjor is on the council. That works in our favor. Someone we can trust to find the answers we seek. Yes, we are nearly there. Ugh. 
It's good to find you well, Jor. Both of you. What are you doing here? You have not come all this way for the Yuletide. I've come to warn you, old warrior, about a rut in your city. Three figures, corrupt and dangerous. We should work together to bring them into the light and kill them before they come to power. However I may help, I am ready. Slow yourselves. Eivor, we cannot just go running around the city, poking and prodding and killing at will. They nearly did me, Jor. What? These people sent the Red Hand after her, ready to shed blood in your streets to keep themselves a secret. But they failed. This is the letter that was sent to our home. The Needle, the Firebrand, the Vault. They belong to a group called the Order of Ancients. These are their assumed names. Our leads. Listen to him, Jor. He has dealt with their kind before. Corruption has seeped its way into Jorvik. But King Rishi's hands are full, which means my hands are full. Counsel on this matter will fall on deaf ears. I do not want his counsel. All I have told you stays between the three of us. But you should introduce me to the king. I will need to align with him if we are to go about this freely. The Picts are winning this war. We should be scraping together every ounce of silver to procure food for our men. Understood, dear Farafid. But we also have a responsibility to our townspeople. The Yuletide must go on. Enough. The more you argue, the more my head hurts. Sure. I was not aware we had company. The likes of which I did not approve. You have a problem in Jorvik. Yes, I'm looking at it. A problem that nearly got my friend killed. Lufina was attacked by the Red Hand. They raided her home, destroyed her property, and chased her through the streets. Those bloody scoundrels again. She survived, but the Red Hand has been a growing problem here of late. And what is your stake in this? Are you some sort of wandering mercenary? No. This is Sigurd Jarl's Drenger. Took our old camp by the river Nene, as I hear it. I am far away. War chief to Haftan Ragnarsson, and this well fed wastrel is Alden, High Reef of Jorvik. I have seen rebel groups like this before. They sit and wait, and the moment you lower your guard, they spring up like weeds. If left alone, they will take Jorvik out from under you. Not what you want, not what Haftan wants. Oh dear. What do you want? Tell me what you know about the Red Hand, and I will rid your city of them. You can go about your affairs. They've been sticking their hands in coffers around the city, targeting nobles, merchants, and anyone else they can throttle. And they are growing, as you said. I would rather not be worrying about them come Yuletide. This is not something we can afford to ignore. If we do not have the means to deal with the Red Hand, we should let Eivor. Do what you can, but do it quietly. I do not want the public alarmed. Pure. Send funds to procure food and ale for Faravid's men. And make sure there's enough left over for the feast. But it's as I said. We don't have... Find it. I have spoken. He tells me to find more silver. Where? In a dragon's hoard? Come. I will take you back to Lufina. She will know where to begin. I cannot tell if that went the way you had hoped. It went well enough. Rishi will stay out of my way. No one can argue the Red Hand must be dealt with. Speak a word of this to no one. The circle of trust must stay between the three of us. You will forgive me for stepping away. I grow weary of those pissing contests. Uh, my love, I am sorry for what happened. I should have been there. Nonsense. You have your duties to fulfill. Besides, a few bandits is hardly something to worry over. I am only glad you were not harmed. Eivor, I will be around if you need me. Once you catch the tail, you do not let go.
old habits die with the struggle. Yours has changed. Softened. Politics. It takes the Norse out of a Norse. I'm happy for him. And you as well. You have made something of yourselves here. Perhaps. What do you have there? Christian texts. The Gospels. Ecclesiastes. The Revelation of John. The Red Hand steals all they can find. We may run the city now, but the Christians must still be allowed to worship as they see fit. Seems the Red Hand disagrees. What's more, Althon is worried they will come for the Archives next. Between this and all the uproar at the harbor, I would say we have some leads. What does the Red Hand want with Christian texts? That is the question. Whatever it is, there is no length they will not go to to retrieve them. They have even burned people alive who refuse to hand over what they demand. Where is the largest collection of texts in the city? The Archives. But they haven't been so bold as to attack it yet. Aldon keeps a close eye on the place. I will try my luck there. I went by the harbor when I first arrived. The Duckmaster looked wary when I asked about you. That does not surprise me. He's been using Jorvik's money shortage to increase taxes. As if he's been ordered to by the Council. Jor would never wrong the people like that, even if Rishie demanded it. The Dark Master is a thief and a liar. A man in need of a throttling. I will have another look around the harbor. Try the Trade Depot. It's where he's holding the merchant's wares. I'll get started at once. No, I need you here. Listen to the voices in this hall. Look for any signs, changes in behavior, anything. I would swallow a horse heart to join you, Eivor. I know, old friend. Your loyalty is why I need you here. I will return when I find something. The archives. This must be where Alan shuffles the council papers. He's not here. Hmm. A pile of official scrolls, stamped with a seal. I should look around. Thank you, Alden. I will leave with these at once. Of course. A4, isn't it? What brings you to our archives? I've come to ask about these Christian texts. Lufina tells me the Red Hand is stealing them. And destroying them. I fear they will attack these archives next. The abbess here has offered to bring the texts somewhere safe. She's been working diligently on this matter. You flatter me, Lord. I only wish to help. Abbess Ingeborg, this is Eivor, our honored guest from the south. Eivor has offered to help rid Jorvik of the Red Hand. How can I help? An abyss does not strike me as a suitable choice against a gang of ruthless bandits. It is my duty to protect the role of Christianity in our lives. Texts like this Gospel of Matthew were created for more than just perusing. They are a gift. They spread the word of God, and it is that which must be preserved, whatsoever the cost. I admire your resolve. But unless the Red Hand is dismantled, they will continue to harm those in possession of these texts. The Red Hand seems to know where to look for these texts. It may be someone is guiding them. What can you tell me? You know something else. That much is clear. The Abbess has her suspicions. As much as it pains me to say, I suspect something foul at the Rectory. I have heard whispering, collusion, and the Bishop. He has been sneaking around the rectory, often visiting the priests in the cover of night. Time I pay these men of faith a visit. The rectory is on the road to the minister. I should look for the bishop there.
Here's the rectory. The abbess said she suspected secrecy among the priests and bishop. Seems quiet. Where is everyone? Someone is hiding in there. Doubt he'll come out. I'll have to find a way in. Musky. Been here long, priest? Just who do you think you are, trespassing like this? This is my property you've destroyed. I hear you priests have been hiding ever since some Christian texts went missing. What are you hiding from? The Red Hand? Who else? They muscle their way to and fro. No one has done a thing about it. I'm looking for the bishop. Where is he? Gone to his quarters. Said he would return once he finished tending to a private matter. But that was some time ago. Show me there. W what do you mean to do with him? Now. Lord, forgive me. I knew I should have left with the others. The bishops. What is that burning smell? Let's go. Several Christian texts. The Abbas was right to cast suspicion in the bishop's way. Blood. There was a struggle here. Lord of both! The, the bishop! No, no. I can't look. Oh, dear lord. Ugh, the stench. He looks like searcher's shit. A charred letter beneath the body. He must have tried to hide it before he died. Someone knew the bishop was conflicted and killed him before he could say a word. It's a confession. The bishop played a part in destroying these texts against his own will. The rest of the letter is burned, but makes mention of the minster and the abbess. Is that where she's been keeping these texts? Look around. Search every room. They're around here somewhere. It's them. It's the Red Hand! Oh, Lord of mercy! Quiet! The Red Hand. I need to leave. The target sent the Red Hand after me. I must be closing in. It's time I head to the Minster. The Abbas knows more than she's letting on. Troubling you, Father? Abbas, 
Look, they are burning all of these passages. Why are you not stopping this? Because they ordered them to. What? The vellum that burned before you are covered in lies. So long as they exist, you cannot hope to see the world the way it truly is. Lies? Abbas, what has happened to you? We are God's children all. Do not renounce him like this. Please, I beg of you. You can still repent. God will forgive you. You know he will. Your mind has been poisoned, but worry not. We have the antidote. We will set a new example to which all may aspire. You... you... you're mad! You won't get away with this! I won't let you! There's no one to tell. No one who will hear you cries. If you cannot bear to watch them burn, then you should burn with them. I want it all destroyed! Every text, every passage, every scribbled piece of paper, everything. It is time to end this. Yes, Firebrand. The Abbess is the Firebrand. She'll kill whoever stands in her way. Time I get between her and her next victim. Fire that burns in the sand. I've always had it. 
a longing to do something grand and important. But that door was always shut to me. My methods deemed too severe. I was cast out, shunned, scorned. But the Order, they took notice of me. Saw that it was courage that drove me. Courage to change the world for the better. They reopened that door. And you used your chance to destroy a way of life you did not support. We have seen time and time again what happens when people are left to interpret for themselves. Knowledge must be controlled. Only then can the message be widely understood. The day where there is but one truth draws nearer. One truth, that is what the Order offers. This one sought to spark a new flame, but did so with a heavy hand. Not a teacher's tongue. This cleansing of yours ends here. My work is incomplete, but not inconsequential. There are others who carry on. For one of the four is us. Why did you say that? What does it mean? Now I go. A flame that grows bright and burns ever more, ever light. To Helheim, where cold and crueler fires await. I should return to Lufina. She'll want to know about Abbas Ingeborg's involvement. What news do you bring? The Firebrand's flame burns no longer. It was Jorvik's abyss, Inkiborg. Gods, I would never have suspected. Does the Order's reach know no bounds? None. And it is often those we least expect who carry out their ambitions. The abyss sought to destroy all Christian texts in the city. Rid Jorvik of their ideals. She did utter a phrase that perked my ears. One of the four is ours. Four? But there are only three targets in Jorvik. Could there be something we're missing? Damn Picts! Not only do they hold the North, but those lawless chicks have free roam in our lands as well. Yours said our spies are on the ground. Under the ground. Only one of them has returned, bone-beaten and bloodied. The Howling Mother takes them. Lovina, a moment of your time. And here, if he's about. I will be with you shortly. Two more left to hunt. The disputes coming out of the docks lately have been deafening. Head there and dig around. Something is bound to turn up. Straight depot. This must be where the merchant. The Dark Master. I do not see him. Is he here? Keep walking. You have no business here. He has a loud mouth. Usually stands right around here, yarping. Hard to miss. Fuck off. Yarmek Straight depot. This must be where the merchant's wares are being kept. There must be another way in. I split you! Tina, 
Stake in these docks. What are you doing? You're supposed to be in the market. I know, I... I forgot which merchants to collect from. I cannot believe this. Black cloth on their stores. Gods never knew mind. Someone else will take care of it. You are playing with fire, boy. The needle... It seems like the complaints by the merchants never reached the council. seizes cargo and resells it through merchants in the marketplace. The ones involved bear black cloths. I may be able to get the... Some silver around the marketplace. some silver to the merchants. That should get their attention. Keep your focus. There was trouble at the depot earlier. What do you mean? Where to? The needle is calling for more protection. Meet me here at night. We will go see them. We will go one by one. I hear this marketplace sees its fair share of silver path through. I have something that may interest you. You will want to speak to Grigori. The Dark Master? Sorry. Who are you? Someone who wants to do business with Grigory. I don't know your face, and I've said too much already. Please, go. Psst. Psst. Did I hear you talking about silver? I'm looking to spend a large sum, not fork it over to some street beggar. Oi! I'm no beggar, you dolt. I'm with the big dogs. You mean the needle? You have something he wants. If you truly want to make a trade, head to the statue near the east gate. I shall. Watch yourself around here, young one. Oh, me? <laughs> Please. I have a bigger sword than a lot of them. Wine for sale. There's nary a drop in town. Nary. Yes, all right. Shame. I could do with a cup, but the last this feast Look is here. the talk of the town. I am eager for it. Good man. Huh? cards and a black cloth marking the house. 
hiding among the rats, Needle. Fitting. There must be another way in. The guards here are vigilant. The sound of metal. A workshop in the sewers. What is the needle's operation? All this silverware. Some still in their crates. Has this all been seized as well? I'm not surprised to find you creeping down here. You! You don't belong down here! We run a clean dark in Jorvik. I believe those were your words. And yet here I find you swimming in silver from all the wares you've seized. Are you the Needle, or just another of his pawns? You have it all wrong. The fabric of this world has been used up, torn. Shredded, you see. Someone must be there to stitch it back together. Someone with a firm yet steady hand, who can thread a needle. Someone like me. You are a shit poet, but at least my question is answered. <laughs> yes, well, we all have our weaknesses. Yours appears to be the iron between us. Think your men are going to stop me? I would not undermine them so. The Red Hand are loyal to our cause, which is more than I can say for the merchants. Make it quick! Meet me in the marketplace when you are done! Walk with me. It is good to walk. <laughs> Gregory. Good to take in the air, 
the sights, the sounds, the smells. Please, Grigory, I, 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 I didn't think you'd mind. It was just a few coins. Shh, 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 shh. I understand. It's not your fault. It was mine for thinking you had anything but empty air between your ears. With all the silver I've given you, I have nothing left to feed my children, let alone myself. Please, understand. Oh, dear God. Merchants of Jorvik, I promised you a future rife with opportunity. And what was the one thing I asked in return? Do you remember? Loyalty. Loyalty! Let this serve as a lesson, should any of you think it a good idea to threaten my operation. I should not be seen in this area. Child, I thought of snow as the tears of God, frozen by her sins. Weak with hunger, I stared into the sky, hoping it was me he wept for. Me he sought to save. But God did not save me. The vault did. He took me to a fine house. He gave me hearty meals, a warm bed. For the first time, someone extended a hand. Showed me kindness, compassion. And it was then that I made a vow. I vowed to never turn my back on he who was there for me when God was not. So you served the Vault, knowing full well what he was a part of. The Order made our paths intersect. I owed them a debt, and I repaid it by saving this city from its own destruction. A life debt is a strong motivator. It took hold of this one's Hugard, drove it, and never let go. Yet not with the same compassion you were shown. Too many have suffered by your hand in pursuit of this course. You're right. Perhaps I deserve this death. But I am but one cog in a large wheel. One that still turns unhindered. Not for long. Where you have gone, there will be no tears waiting for you. you bring the needle will never sting again well done neighbor who was hiding behind the name my love there has been an attack at the markets the dock master grigory is dead the needle sold off the wares he seized to collect silver for the vault he had no such authority why would anyone believe him the 
the council seal. That rat. This is getting out of hand. How he was able to obtain this is concerning. I must return and prepare for the Yuletide feast, but I will do so with a bent ear and a keen eye. Be safe. A valuable seal, and a riddle. One of the four is ours. One of the four. Rhysia, Falavith, Odin, and... You're the four members of the Council. We should search their offices now, while they're occupied with the Yuletide feast. Yes. Yes. Come, to the archives. Could I have missed something? We will find out soon enough. <laughs> the room to the left. That is where the councilman can go. A list. What Jorvik needs for the Yuletide feast. That is Aldon's handwriting. Items have been struck out. Where did he find the funds to make this larger purchase? Aldon is a well-connected man. I have seen these. Weapons and supplies. Enough for a small group of fighters. Hardly enough for Halfdan's army. Could be why Fadavith is pressing the council for more silver. A wax seal. Similar to the one I found in the sewers. The seal you took from the needle's hand. You don't think someone could have stolen it? Let's keep searching. This desk. It looks as though it's been moved here. That's yours, desk. It is loaded with silver. Scratch marks on the floor. Your desk used to be against the other wall. So why the change? A hidden entrance. Where does this lead? Guard the door. It is loaded with silver. There was wine here. Whoever moved it did so in a hurry. A load of wine was removed from here, and the room smells of almonds. It may be the wine was poisoned. It is likely the wine for the Yuletide feast. Do you think one of the council means to kill someone? It looks that way. It is not him, not Major. He would never do this. He... Keep your focus. Once we have all the facts, then we can worry about Hyor. Right now we need to get to the Yuletide Feast. The people are in danger. You're right. The Roman Amphitheater. Let us go. Do you see the wine? No. Then there's still time. The entire council is here. Any one of them could be the vault. I need you to keep an eye out for the wine. I will speak to each of the council members, see if I can trap them in a lie. Even Hjor? Even Hjor. If he is the vault, I will not allow him to kill all these people. Lufina. I heard you. Just grant me one thing. Confer with me before you make your move. I will. Now to speak to the council members. Faravid, a word if I may. Ah, Drenger. If it's to join arms with me, the answer is yes. We can use someone like you against the Picts. I may be courted, but I'm selective with whom I join. Are you a drinker? 
<laughs> if that is a challenge, I am up for it. Very well. I'll return with some wine. Wine? <laughs> Come now, we will do this over ale. That will give us a good measure of who can better fight its lure. I will speak of the wine and watch for their reactions. That may lead me to the vault. Odun, it seems you have found the funds to go ahead with the feast after all. You must be elated. <laughs> that is putting it lightly. Look at it! I could not have asked for a better turnout. Soon the feast will begin. And these people will be given everything they deserve. We should honor you. I will fetch us some wine. Uh, no, no, no. I, I mustn't indulge. Uh, the wine is for the people of Jorvik. Uh, but when it arrives, do help yourself. What a delightful feast! Alden has outdone himself. He has it. Pure. Who was that? There you are. I was beginning to worry. Worry not. We have tracked the vault here. He's someone on the council. You are certain? I am. Once I discover who, I will dig my blade into his heart and end this for good. Until then, it is important that I investigate without raising suspicion. I need your help. Of course. What do you need me to do? Drink yourself into a drunken fit. What? Why? I need a distraction. Keep their eyes off of me. The wine should arrive soon. Drink three full cups, then make a scene. I can't be seen doing that. You'll have to find another way. Just do it. I will have the silver ready in the coming days. Thank you, boy. Of course, he has indeed. The High Reeve of Jorvik has a bright future ahead if he keeps this up. Rishi. Ah, come to join the feast, have you? I have some bad news. The wine for the feast has spoiled. Of course it has. Why would I expect differently? I'll have my men dump it. There may be more wine in my private stores. I'll send a man to retrieve it. Is there anything else? That is all. Enjoy the feast. I shall try. We need to find the vault. Have you any idea who it is? I believe I have. Each of the council members has given me reason to suspect them. Some more than others. Who is it you suspect? Audun was the one pushing for the feast from the start. He planned it, which means he would have had access to the wine. And he was helping Abbas Ingibor collect Christian texts. She turned out to be the firebrand. Yes. Yes, you're right. And the wine? Of all the councilmen, he knew the wine had not yet arrived. When I offered some, he flat out refused, insisting it be saved for the guests. For these reasons, I think Audun is the vault. Brothers, sisters, dear friends, welcome all. Before we begin, I would like to introduce our honored guests. Here with me are some of Jorvik's most revered lords. Men and women who have kept Jorvik trudging through these harsh times. I am pleased to say that today, on the day we honor you, we honor as well the nobles to whom we are all so The wine. I'll do the vote. Too late for them. We must not miss our chance. Join me now in celebrating their successes and yours. To everything you deserve and to more. Shit! And now, deafened and blinded by your lust for indulgence, your foolish pride, I will tell you just what nobility is. A death sentence. A new world of order is upon us. A pity none of you will live to see it. Get the councilmen to safety. I will handle Aldun. Go. This is heavily guarded. Protect the king. Aldun. There is no escape. No future for people like you. <laughs> Ah! 
this. What did you hope to gain with all this? What riches are worth so much misery and the deaths of honorable men and women? Only a feeble mind would call them honorable. They are privileged, sedentary, complacent. They wasted their resources. I secured our power through wealth. I contributed to the future of a glorious order. On the backs of honest people, merchants, and priests, and nobles alike. A4, you are wrong. Held back by your primitive cosmology. Nine worlds in the tree? No. Nine times nine thousand worlds. And as many sons. Nine nights I hung in the tree, sacrificing myself to myself. So does the wise one seek wisdom. Countless spheres awaiting our gift, our enlightenment. I live in one world only. You live in none. Are you all right? You you We're fine. Faravil and his car is escorted King Rishie back to the Royal Hall. Everyone is safe. Let's regroup there. I want answers! Calm, Lord Rishia. Alden is dead. That doesn't calm me. I wanted to rip the bastard's spine out myself. You want to calm me? Start talking. Alden aligned himself to a secret group that was plotting to overtake Jorvik. He had help from two others. Grigory the Dark Master and Ingeborg the Abyss. And you, Eivor? You were after these conspirators from the moment you arrived? Yes, though I could not let it be known. This group can reach any person, permeate the walls of any city. Much like the worms of a spoiled apple, they would have eaten Jorvik from the inside out if we let them. But you stopped that from happening. We owe you a debt of gratitude. You can be sure Hafton Jarl will hear of this. If the threat is gone, then you have my gratitude as well. I'm alive today, and so are many others because of you. I'd like to name you an honorary High Reeve of Jorvik, Eivor. Would you accept? It has a nice sound to it. You honor me, Lord. You have earned it. Then if I may, a hoard of silver is left unaccounted for in the grottoes beneath these streets. 
That's right. Silver the Dockmaster was collecting. What do you propose we do with it? Hard-working merchants were robbed of their wares. Honor Yuletide by giving the silver back to the honest citizens of Jorvik. A wise suggestion. I agree. Fine. I will see to it that Hjord distributes the silver evenly. Come, Faravid. Help me secure this hoard. I could use a bloody walk. We have a saying in Bjarnia. Only the dead get to complain. And we're still living. I could muster a few complaints about the king and the treasury. But I shall forbear. You did it, Eivor. We did. It may be we were the recipe to keep Norway from Harold all along. We still can be. No. Norway is behind me now, and the rest of England ahead. That said, I must be going. Wait. Should you ever need us, we will come. One last thing. The silver on your desk, Hjor. It planted a seed of doubt in my mind. So I must know. What is it for? I suppose I can forgo the element of surprise. I hired a silversmith to craft a love token for Lufina. A Yuletide gift. You sneak. I will take my leave before you shame the throne. Until our paths cross again, old friend. In this world, or the next. You drop by Jorvik again? Please join us for an aid. I know of a place down the street. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Rantvi. Seems the wind calls me back to Rantvi. Let's tell her the good news. I should talk to Hytham. Jarvik is now free of the Order's influence. Brilliant as ever, my friend. Thank you for all you have done. Keep this. It serves your cause better than it does my pocket. It gives me joy to take these from you. As a token of my deep gratitude, I want you to have this. There is more to be done, Eivor. I have to- Then go in peace. I'm so pleased that you're here. I have purged the Order of Ancients from Jorvik, the Lufina, and Hjor's aid. And should we ever need theirs, they will come. You do this work well, Eivor. Is it a prelude to you joining the Hidden Ones? I doubt it. Not enough glory in these back alley brawls. Ah, hey, my boy. I should talk to either. Ah! 
Ah, here is something for you. An odd letter arrived a few days ago, signed by one calling himself... A poor fellow soldier of Christ. That's right. Someone you know. Not by sight. But this soldier has intimate knowledge of the Order. He's the reason I've found them so easily in the cities. The letter says you must travel to Winchester, visit God's house and look for a man in white. Then recite this passage. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. All right. I will speak with Randry, get a fuller picture of all this. Do you need something? I have to. Then go in peace. <laughs>